Hey party people. In this video, what I wanna cover is getting the cushions done for the dinette and the bed. And as you can see here, I've already got the cushion cut for the top bunk bed. Today what I'm gonna do is make these covers and sew these together. Not. No, 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 no. I don't know how to sew. And if you've been following this video series, you know that I'm trying to do this as simply and quickly and cheaply as I can. So what I do know how to do is use plywood. I'm gonna cut these pieces of plywood slightly smaller than what each cushion should be. Before we cut the plywood, I do want to cut the foam and uh, I'm not an expert in foam or any of this stuff. What I think is gonna work best is this electric knife. So I'm gonna show you the kind of the method that we've come up with for cutting this to make sure that I can cut this straight. This is my guide for the top. This is my guide for the bottom. And if I run that along there, I should be able to keep a straight edge all the way down this piece of foam. This is four inch thick foam. If I didn't have a guide for the top and bottom, I could end up cutting like that. So we'll see how well this works. All right, so that worked pretty well. Like butter. Man, look how perfect that is right there. In case you haven't noticed, it's, uh, it's pretty hot out here. But anyway, I took all those quarter inch pieces of plywood and I used the sander to round all the edges on them to make sure that when I put the material on, nothing scrapes and gets torn. Next, I'm gonna use this Loctite spray adhesive, which is essentially uh, contact cement. And I'm gonna spray this on the foam and on the plywood and get that attached. So the way I did these, the, the foam is actually a little bit bigger than what it needs to be. And the plywood is actually a little bit smaller. So the actual size that the cushion needs to be is you know, halfway in between there. That way I can kind of scrunch it down whenever I put the material on and um, I won't have that hard edge right there at the edge of the cushion. So when I went to the fabric store to get the material to cover these cushions, the lady that worked there said, sir, can you tell me what you're looking for? And I said, well, I'm covering the cushions in what will become an RV, kind of a travel trailer. And she said, oh, I know exactly what you're looking for. You're looking for something butt ugly in a puke pattern, maybe in a brownish tint. And I was like, yes, just like they've used in every RV since 1972. And she was like, fresh out. So anyway, what I got was this. And I mean, I think this is just lovely and will go with any season. But also, the good part is because it's light gray, I'll see any uh, woolly boogers that are crawling on this thing when I'm trying to sleep, so that's a plus. I'm gonna treat this as a bar stool. I'm gonna cover go over the front cushion, wrap it around the back, and then I'm gonna use quarter inch, hopefully these work, quarter inch staples to push it in. And speaking of bar stools, I'll put a link up here, yep, over my left shoulder for an epoxy bar stool that I did, and you should click on that and watch that. It's pretty cool. 
Oh, and it's got a spider in it, a poisonous spider, so you don't wanna miss that. Anyway, let's get this on. Fold this over there, okay? Fold that over. I'll hold this and you staple it, okay? So watch how I do this, okay? I'm gonna pull it tight and then put two in like that, okay? Mm -hmm. So all you do is you push your hand down, that's where the weight, you don't have to really squeeze that hard. You need to push your weight of your hand down, okay? because I'm not a seamstress and I don't know how to do any of this stuff. I don't know how to sew or anything. I just did it like I was wrapping a package, sort of, and then stapled it on the back. But I think this will work. Nice. Very comfy. them in there. I made them tight, so ta-da. Okay, hop in there, see how comfortable it is. Comfy? Yep. Too bad, you're never gonna sleep on that one. Test the top one. That one's for you. Okay. Comfy? Yarp. Yarp? Yarp? Yarp. So what I need you to do then is to take two sheets and sew those two sheets together and make a giant pillowcase basically for this piece right here. Can you do that for me? Yarp. Yarp. That is a super easy, fast way to cover some cushions for, you know, if you're doing a conversion. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Wow, that's weird.